unprecedented opportunity sort of to change the path to make America healthy again. And uh, I'm a professor at the University of South Florida, Morsani College of Medicine. And uh, I was trained in nutrition, neuroscience, and physiology. And they're subjects that I teach at the undergrad level, at the uh, master's level, PhD, and also medical students. Our medical students actually have a front row seat in the chronic uh, problem that is facing the United States today. They see that Americans are eating themselves sick. So they actually see 60 to 70% of the, the patients that come into the clinic for the third and fourth year medical students that I see, uh, they have a diet related chronic disease. But the system that they work in basically quickly pulls out a prescription pad. So they are treating a dietary disorder with drugs. So the path forward is very clear to all of us. And uh, I can tell you as someone who teaches hundreds of medical students that they are excited about the movement to make America healthy again, and they view food as medicine. So really the path forward is that uh, nutrition really needs to be taught in medical schools. And we are one of the very few minority of medical schools that do that. And I wanna say that it did not come from the administra administrative level, it came from the bottom up. So the students saw that they were not taught nutrition science, but they needed it to effectively practice medicine and treat chronic illness. So also uh, we need policies in place to make nutrition science uh, and also the practice of nutrition uh, in a way that, that can be implemented. The prevention, the management, and then reversal of chronic disease is a fixable problem. And we've heard about how therapeutic carbohydrate reduction, also called the ketogenic diet, which I've been studying for the last 20 years, is a powerful tool and a lever to improve metabolic health and metabolically manage diseases that are completely refractory to drug therapy. For example, epilepsy. When drugs fail for epilepsy, kids are put on a ketogenic diet and about 60% or more of them respond and then can get off all their drugs. And some of them are super responders. They get no seizures, they can come off of the diet and it cures their epilepsy. So this requires, uh, fixing the problem really requires an audacious, audacious plan to make America healthy again. And this is going to require a collaborative synergy between the National Institutes of Health, the FDA, uh, academia. We need to teach medical students uh, the, the need for nutrition, not to replace drugs, but to work complementary with drugs, but to be a frontline approach. So right now, nutrition is not thought of as a frontline approach. And we need collaborative synergy with government agencies, as I mentioned, academia, but also farming. I'm a regenerative farming. I have uh, grass-fed cows and sheep, and I can see the power of farming as actually improving the environment around me uh, when it's done properly with regenerative farming. And I think there's also a tremendous opportunity with industry. This is, we could carve a path forward that uh, is profitable for many industries that can provide a service, like for example, Ona Health, to help us make America health again, healthy again and restore metabolic health. So, and I also think the media plays an important role. So share this information, get out there. What you learned today is gonna to be incredibly important for our path forward. So thank you, thank you all for your attention. And once again, I really appreciate the opportunity for us to be here to share uh, our collaborative knowledge.